also pumped up fans with a little purple paint this morning. Yeah, the Ravens' playoff run starts in Pittsburgh this weekend with a wild card showdown with the Steelers. 11 News reporter Karen Campbell has more on how Ravens fans are getting all pumped up for the team's return to the playoffs. Ravens fans are showing their purple pride in a different kind of way. I'm on my way to work and just thought I'd swing by and uh, go ahead and get my decal to support the Ravens. Sue Andrews was among hundreds of fans who woke up bright and early on Tuesday to come to MT Bank Stadium and get her vehicle ravenized. Members of the Ravens marketing team decorated cars, trucks, even motorcycles with the official Ravens logo using spray chalk. We thought it would be a fun way to continue to paint the town purple. We've done stenciling on sidewalks, painting on City Hall. We've encouraged people to wear their purple. We, we thought, how can we extend this even further on cars? Drivers made their way to Lot D of the stadium by 6 a.m. and were greeted by the Ravens band. The event is all part of the team reaching the NFL postseason. Drivers like Kevin Baumhart says he can't wait until Saturday's showdown with the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's great. It's something to get the fans behind the team again, and it's Pittsburgh. And it, make, it helps because my in-laws are Steeler fans, so this is even better. It's been a little shaky year, but they overcame adversity and they wind up being back in the playoffs. So I'm so happy for these guys. We're bringing it home. We're bringing it back. Bringing home a win and wanting the Ravens football team to know that fans are supporting them. As soon as I get home today, I'll get a nice picture and send it to them. It's like, where's your Steeler pride? And you don't have to wait until a Purple Friday to show your Purple pride. Is that right, Poe? <laughs> You can log on to WVALTV.com for more information on how you can get your car spray chalked and ravenized. We are reporting from MNC Bank Stadium, Karen Campbell and Poe, WVAL TV 11 News. All right.